when I was at high school, I was quite lonely or solitary perhaps rather than lonely. So I read a lot. I mean, I read the contents of the school library and I read all the classics. So like I'd read all of Thomas Hardy by the time I was 13, I think. Mm -hmm. And then Jane Austen and the Brontes and George Eliot and, you know, these, these this lot. And um, so I'd assimilated all of that because it is very important for a writer to read well. Mm -hmm. You know, if you read crap, you will write crap. It's a done deal, you know, it's <laughs> yeah. garbage in, garbage out. So, so, um, but I, I had all of this kind of in my head. And then when, when I was persuaded by a friend in my 40s, she said, they're doing a creative writing. You've always talked about writing. You wanted to write something come along. So I went along with her and um, and I was told on the course that, and I, I didn't think about writing anything else, but I remember my test piece to get into the into the course, into the programme was historical fiction. It was set here in, in Italy in the 1940s. And uh, I mean, I, I don't suppose I'll do that again because there are lots of books written about Italy in the 1940s. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's kind of stuff market. But, um, but I remember getting feedback that I wrote in an old fashioned way. Not that that was a bad thing. Oh, no, that's that's a good note for yeah. You know, so I thought, okay, if that's the case, then then it makes sense to to kind of um, write historical fiction from that point of view. So so that's kind of where it started. And where, but I didn't really get going because I moved, we moved house and all kinds of stuff. There were two little kids to bring up. Um, I think they got the short end of it really. But um, and so it wasn't really for about another ten years proper that until. This friend who kept nagging me to write got me in a. She got me in a corner. She fed me. We went to pub. She was feeding me, and she said, "Stop making." She's the nicest person in the world. Stop making excuses. And I said, "All right, I'll write for this competition that's coming up. They need fifteen thousand words by May. This is February. Mm -hmm. By May, I've written forty thousand. I just couldn't stop after that. So it's kind wow. of gone on after that, you know. 